Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for April 11th, 2019. So, yesterday, doggone it, not even the FOMC minutes could really get us broken free from the doldrums of the market. If we take a look at a short-term 15-minute chart, you can see we had a little bit of uh, price action um, yesterday trying to um, move, oops, I should say right in here, move us around a little bit yesterday um, after the FOMC minutes, but it was it was a really a non-event yesterday and, and not all that big a surprise. We kind of knew what the, what the Fed was going to do. Um, if we take a look um, at the market itself, we're still holding these really bullish patterns. Um, you've got to admit that these are still bullish patterns. And we're holding above support levels here in the Dow. Now, the Dow is struggling because of Boeing. Now, Boeing, if we take a quick look at Boeing, Boeing is just kind of serving as that anchor. It's, um, you know, imagine that ship trying to move forward and it's dragging this great big giant anchor uh, that just can't seem to, to get things going here. Now, what's going to be really critical, I think, for the Dow is we need to we need to see this hold support. If um, if we see the diamonds starting to break down, if we break through this really key level here of support, if if uh, the di uh, excuse me Boeing breaks down through there, that's going to make it really really difficult for the Dow uh, to perk back up. If we can hold support here, if Boeing can hold on to that support, then I think we have a better chance of the Dow uh, coming back up and showing us some positive signs. So if we take a look at that Dow, that's what's happening here. We're just kind of pulling that Boeing along. It's it's just serving as that boat anchor um, and we're dragging it across the sea for, floor, trying to break free and get something moving here. So right now, I think we're in pretty good shape as long as the diamonds can hold above that key level of um, 260. If we were to slip down below there, um, we could have some trouble. So let's kind of keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY holding up well. Yesterday, a little bit of a perk up right at the end of the day, trying to show some bullishness. And this morning, futures are also trying to get a tiny little bit of lift in the pre-market pump anyway um, just trying to show a little bit of sign of life here what's really going on is we're just kind of camping out here we're stuck in a little bit of a trading range and we're holding in a bullish pattern so there's nothing wrong with this chart we just have to be patient and wait find out which direction this market wants to go i still think right now everything is pointing to the upside but there is the concern we have those big earnings reports coming out on friday and that's really what the market is waiting on so don't be at all surprised to see that if uh, that we have another day of really light choppy pricey uh, choppy price action where we don't go much of anywhere today it is nice to see that little bit of bullishness trying to build in here that anticipation of those earnings but we want to be very, very careful about over trading a dull market. We know, we always know that we could over trade, um, get into a bunch of positions because there are a lot of really good charting pat chart patterns out there. Get into a, bu a bunch of positions and then wake up the next morning and have the market going in the opposite direction against us. And that's what happens in a doldrums uh, type market. Um, we want to be really careful not to overtrade that. If we wait, if we're patient, the market will show us the way. We just have to be patient, avoid predicting, and be careful. Now, that doesn't mean that I want to, um, I'm not holding current positions. My current positions, I'm very, very happy with, and I'm, I'm happy to continue to hold them. I just think um, you want to be really careful about adding too many additional um, risks 
when we're kind of floating around in these doldrums. And remember, there's no guarantee that to, uh, Friday, when the big blank banks report, there's no guarantee that we're going to go up. There's no guarantee that we're going to go down. It is entirely possible that we get those uh, banking earnings and we continue in this doldrums until we get more, um, more data um, on Monday and, and the following days as we enter those second quarter earnings. So remember, the market can go three directions, up, down, or sideways. We don't necessarily have to break these doldrums on Friday as we wait uh, for that second quarter earnings to kick off. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now, the Qs still remain, I believe, the, uh, the strongest and probably the most likely to make that first attack on these all-time highs. You can see yesterday another nice push up in this morning. We're getting just a tiny little lift above that um, in the pre-market futures. And um, you can see, I, I, I think this is just like a, a great big giant, if I, could, if I could draw a picture, this is just like a um, great big giant um, uh, electromagnet up here. And that electromagnet has been kicked into high gear. And this is waiting, um, just pulling really, really hard um, on the uh, the NASDAQ to move up there. And we're seeing that in a lot of the um, technology stocks, just trying to show either very good price patterns or good continuation patterns. And there, it's just pulling and pulling and pulling. And so the bulls want a, a new high here. Uh, I think there's no doubt about it. In fact, in fact, I think it would be really disappointing if we get this close and not uh, not make it there. And so I think um, they're really going to push for that uh, new market high print and maybe even those record prints um, after that. But let's kind of keep an eye on this. And remember, we could get a lot of jostling around on those um, earnings reports. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM continues to just lag behind here, but although it had a really nice move yesterday, pushing right back up here toward this price resistance area. But just notice there's a lot of price data in this area providing that resistance. So we'll have to wait and see if we can actually break out and maybe get um, the small caps to kind of participate with the overall market. We'll have to wait and see. No really good clues here just yet, although that is a rather uh, bullish pattern right here. Um, almost a Morningstar type pattern here um, as those small caps try to do a little catch up here. Um, let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX yesterday um, was really interesting. We at one point had the VIX starting to, to move higher. A um, little bit of a, um, of a kick up around um, the FOMC. But then um, the bulls came back in, um, really started to relieve any of that selling. We can't seem to get um, motivation to go either direction and that left us in that chop but um, our fear kind of dropped out as we saw those bulls picking up and kind of defending and holding in that that area up there so we'll want to keep an eye on that vix but really nothing uh, major going on here just yet if we take a look at t21 22 that four week new high new low ratio you can see yesterday with that push back up isn't it amazing how quickly that came right back up here into that bearish reversal zone so we're, we're pushing up here now that doesn't mean that we necessarily are going to just fall today or anything like that remember this is not really um, that indicator that says exactly what's going to happen today. What it does is just gives us that, that warning that we're reaching up here. We may be stretching just a little bit hard and we want to pay attention to that. But this also gives us the idea that we can, we do have room to the upside. But just kind of keep in mind, there is more potential room to the downside here. So if we see some selling coming in, we'll want to watch that closely. Um, let's take a look at um, our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar has several things on it, but I just 
uh, I kind of expect that the market is not going to react hugely to these unless there's a big change in these numbers. Um, you can see we have jobless claims at 830 and also the PPI. PPI is expected to come in uh, pretty, pretty solid. So I don't expect too much change here. We have a virtual parade of Fed speakers uh, today. Um, notice we have the natural gas report not expected to move the market. And then we just have a ton of uh, bond related events going on today. Fed balance sheet um, after the market closed wouldn't expect that to move the market much at all. So what we're really waiting on, we're waiting on those uh, those new earnings reports, that second quarter kickoff with the big banks um, on Friday. So kind of keep that in mind. And keep in mind also that those big banks report prior to the market opening. So we get those big bank reports, we could get that big severe move um, either up or down down um, possible so and that will happen prior to um, market opening so think about that risk um, when you're planning your trades moving into that um, anything is possible uh, and we all know that anything is possible around earnings so let's um, be really really wise about how we trade that um, you know when the market is showing us we look at the price action, the market is showing us caution in this light, choppy, sideways price action. It might be wise to take that as a clue that the overall market is being a little bit cautious. Maybe we as retail traders should take that lead as well and be just a little bit of cautious, a little bit cautious protecting our capital. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please, would you do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube? Click that follow me button on Facebook if you happen to be watching it there. Um, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Guys, that's so important. And I truly appreciate those who, who do take the time to leave those comments. I, I, I do try to answer every single comment because I, I appreciate appreciate that so much. Um, that really helps these algorithms show these videos to more people. So thank you very much for those of you who do take the time to do that. Also, remember, you can click that share button and just share this video over on Facebook and Twitter or wherever. Share it with any of your friends and family. Um, if you find it helpful, perhaps they will as well. And um, we can spread um spread this idea of market preparation to uh, more folks and being prepared for your market day. So let's take a look at some charts that um, are setting up for potential trades. Boy, there's quite a few of them um, setting up for trades. Take a look at Activision. ATVI, really nice pattern. Now this is a pattern we call the round and bottom breakout. If you don't know what the round and bottom breakout is, kind of watch watching these videos, you can figure that out or take a look at the other videos on the site. I have a bunch of training videos on the site that's free to everyone where we talk about the round and bottom breakout pattern quite a bit. That RBB pattern is one of the most productively profitable patterns I have ever traded, just continuously producing very, very good um, uh, profits. And we have a beautiful setup here in ATVI. So let's keep an eye on it. ATVI, if it can get moving here, um, start kicking up, um, we could really see some good activity here in ATVI. Completely different kind of trade is one that's already been trending, trending very, very nicely. You can see after breaking this downtrend and holding above that downtrend with support, we have just been trending, 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 PAYX beautiful price action here nice little consolidating move over to trend trying to show some bullishness yesterday um, if that can push on through that is a very very nice pattern looking very very good for uh, some more upside in that chart and there's no reason to believe it can't you can see this is blue sky up here there's no resistance up there to prevent that from happening when we look at PAYX um, I just see one of those trending charts and I know a lot of people will look at this chart and say, well, it's up so far, it has to pull back. And and, and guys, that's just not true. Um, 
um, eventually it will get a pullback, but we can't predict when that's going to happen. We don't know when that's going to happen. When we have blue sky above, we just want to stay with the trend. Stick with that trend until the trend fails. That's um, because we never know how long a stock can move up in one of those patterns. Take a look at Visa. Visa also looking really good. There's another one of those beautiful upside trends. That big breakout here have about 150 holding that trend notice how this trend line just really provides those key those key points when we come back here and we test this trend those key entry points into the trade uh, visa continuing to look very very good here let's take a look at nvidia nvidia continuing to push really really hard now um, we have traded this uh, twice in right way options just for disclosure we made um, really good money on this trade first entry uh, down in here and then a second entry up in here and we made great money on this position right now i'm not in this position i know there may be some folks still holding in this trade but i'm watching this price resistance level in here and as you can see if i pull this back this is a rather significant level of price resistance in here and the fact that we have such a steep move going on in Nvidia um, gives me a little bit of pause and that pause being it's very very possible that we could just bang around in here and then continue to slide south um, if if that doesn't occur if this pokes through if we can pop through this resistance and hold up here um, I would be very very interested in just continuing on uh, uh, making money here with NVIDIA and really nice looking chart. Also, you might want to take a look at Cisco. Cisco, a really nice trending pattern. This is one, you know, years ago we just called these a stepper. And as you can see, we're just climbing these steps, moving up. And we have set up the next step right here. And yesterday, nice little bullish pop here on Cisco suggesting more upside. Now, if we take a look, and this looks like one of those blue skies, but if we take a look at a bigger picture and pull this back, you can see Cisco's got some resistance up here to deal with in these all-time highs. So kind of keep that in mind, but it's looking really, really positive and really really good here for a potential trade you might also want to keep an eye on Oracle Oracle looking very good in this breakout pattern here's this big breakout pattern here in Oracle uh, breaking more than a year of resistance and we pop through and we've pulled back to try and hold it as support and you can see there may be buyers trying to pick this up in here. So if we can hold this price support area here after this big breakthrough, Oracle may have some more upside potential here. So keep an eye on that. And then last but not least, um, take a look at uh, Microsoft here. Microsoft is one of those companies that tends to rally toward earnings. And you can see we have, um, whoops, my tool changed. I mean, um, you can see we have earnings coming on the 25th on this and um, Microsoft has done this really good job of moving up in here and then just sliding sideways over toward its trend. So as this moves in here, we want to watch and wait for that next entry signal uh, for that move up and maybe gravitate up toward um, the earnings um, coming out on the 25th. So everyone, I want to wish you all a great day and I want to thank everyone for taking the time to click that thumbs up button and leaving that um, comment. It can be a very brief comment that still counts. Thank you very much for that. And I want to wish you all a fantastic day. For those of you struggling, just keep working, keep, keep, um, keep studying, keep um, focused on the price action. And I want to wish you all the very, very best. Never give up on your dream. Everyone take care. Have a great day. We'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one.